which word will complete the pattern which word will complete the pattern so we have a pattern of words there is breath then bet there is driver die there is growth got and there is health we are to determine what word needs to come up from here so when you notice each one of these words this one for example breath the first letter here is what's going to be the first letter this side. The first letter here is what's going to be the first letter here. The first letter here is what's also going to be the first letter here. It therefore means that this one here, which is the first letter, is also what's going to be the first letter on this side. So we know that H is the first letter. Then the second letter here is E. And E is here. So you see what happens is that the first letter is gotten, and that's what goes there. The second letter is ignored, leave it out. You can cancel it like this if you want. Then they get the third letter, which is this one and this one. So you can cancel out the second letter here, cancel out this one, and cancel out this one. The next one is what's going to be put there. So for example, here there's I, and you get the I there. There's O, then you get O there. Here there's A, it means that the next one is A. Then there is the third letter, which is T. Again, you cancel this one, and the following letter is what goes there. So equally, this V here is going to be cancelled. So we'll pick on E, which is why there's that E here. We're going to cancel this W and pick on T, which is why there's that T here. And here we are going to cancel L and pick T. And this is the T here. So the answer then to this particular question is hat. So is it A? No. Is it B? Yes. The answer to this particular question is B. Which word must be put in the, this box to complete the pattern? Which word must be put in the box, this box, to complete the pattern? So we have words. There is maggot, hostage, disciple, and trophy. For maggot, the corresponding word is mat. For hostage, the corresponding word is whole. For disciple, the corresponding word is die. How about for trophy? What is the corresponding word? So we need to take time to look at the pattern of words. So let's start with maggot. M-A-G-G-O-T. And here there's M-A-T. So you can see that these first letters are the ones that are brought here. We go to the next word, hostage, ho. The first two are what are brought here. And this one, disciple, die. The first two. Are what are brought here and this one trophy will get the first two and write T R we have not yet finished there is this T for this one there is E for this one there is E how about for this one so you notice that for this one they simply got the last letter here for this one they got the last letter here for this one, they got the last letter here. And then for this one, we are also going to get the last letter, which is Y. So when you are thinking of which word must be put in the box to complete the pattern, the answer is try. So is it A? Nope. Is it B? No. Is it C? No. The answer is D. Which number must be put in the box to complete the series? Which number must be put in the box to complete the series? 
So we are given a series of numbers here. There is 13, there is 15, 17, and this one here, which we need to establish. Then there is 21 and there is 23. What is this number? We need to find the way the pattern of these numbers is. And one of the ways is by simply checking. There is 13. What is the difference between 13 and 15? The difference between 13 and 15 is 2. So when we add this 2 to 13, it gives us 15. When we add a 2 to the 15, it gives us 17. When we add a 2, we add a 2 to this 17, it's going to give us 19. And when we add a 2 to this particular 19, it's going to give us 21. So the difference between these numbers is the number 2. Therefore, if there's 13, then there's 15, then there's 17, the next number is 19. And therefore, the answer to this particular question is C. Which word must be put in the box, this box, to complete the pattern? Which word must be put in this particular box to complete the pattern? So the words we are given that make up the pattern, there's this one, pattern, pats, hermit, hair, conjure, we need to find out what word is going to be here. So when you look at this word pattern, the first letter is gotten and is put there. The second letter is gotten and it is put there. And then the second last letter is gotten, it is put there. Okay, so let's start there. The second last. So there's the first two and the second last. The first two and the second last. So for even this one, it's the first two plus the second last, which is I. And that's what's here. The first two plus the second last, which is R. So we know that then our word is going to start with C. There's going to be O, which is these first two. And then the second last, which is R. So we're going to put R there. Here, this last letter that's put here is T. And this is T. So the third letter, one, two, three. That's what's put here. Here is R, which is the third letter, which is 1, 2, 3. So here it is 1, 2, 3. The third one is N. That's what we're going to put here. So this is the word that we come up with when we follow these particular patterns that's given. Is it A? Yes. The answer to this particular question is A. Which letter must be put in the box to complete the series? Which letter must be put in the box to complete the series? So we have a box, which is this one here. And in this particular box, there are letters. There's I, J, there's L. There's E, F, then there's H. There's A, there's B, dash here, and there's D. We need to find the letter that's supposed to be put in here, the letter that's supposed to put in here, and the letter that is supposed to be put in here. If you look at the way these letters are written, the way these letters have been placed, you need to read them from the top going downwards, from the top going downwards, and this one from the top going downwards. So these are letters of the alphabet. There's I, J, what letter follows J in the alphabet? So there's I, J, K. So here there's supposed to be K, 
L. So it's I J K L. And here there's E F H E F G E F G H E F G H and here there's A B dash D A B dash D. So what's supposed to be here? It's A B C. So the letters that we needed to include are this one, this one, and this one. So the letters are K, G, and C. So is the answer A? No, it is not. Is the answer B? No, it is not. Is the answer C? K, G, C? K, G, C? Then yes. The answer to this one is C. Which letters must be put in the box to complete the series? Which letters must be put in the box to complete the series? We are given a set of letters. These ones, these ones, these ones, and this one. We need to find what is going to be put in here. Now, this is ZYXW. It may help in this particular case to write down the letters of the alphabet. So there is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, x y z the first letters that you can see here the z y x w so it's these ones written in reverse the z y x and w then the second one is a b c which is this one a b c d is this one and there's this one okay the next letters, it's V-U-T-S. This is V-U-T-S, like this. So, what we're going to do here is we're also going to take the next four letters. The next four letters would be this one, this one, this one, and this one. These make up E, F, G, H. These ones are what are going to determine what follows in this particular pattern on this particular series. So, is that A? Yes. The answer to this question is A. Which word will complete the pattern? which word will complete the pattern and so we're given a pattern of words there is trip stripe there is hard shade there is car we don't know so what do we do we have to look at how these words are written there is t r i p so there is t r i p what does this mean it means that the last letter was removed and the first letter was removed. How about here? H-A-D, then there's S-H-A-D-E. Again, you remove the last one letter and you remove the last one letter here to have this word as was the case here. Now, how about car? Car. You notice that for each one of these that we subtracted, it's S at the beginning and E at the end. So we know that here we are going to have S at the beginning, then these words C, A, R, then E. Why? Because there's E there and E there, that's the sequence. So E. Which word will complete the pattern? That's the pattern. The word that's going to complete 
this particular pattern is the word scare. It is the word scare. Therefore, the answer to this particular question is A. Blood always has, blood always has, is it A, cells, is it B, clots, is it C, germs, or is it D, virus? Is it B, clots, is it C, germs, or is it D, virus? The answer to this particular question is A. Blood always has cells. If revelation is equal to this number, then L-E-A-V-E -E is what? So if revelation is this number, then L-E-A-V-E a V E is what is it going to stand for? So what we're going to do first is we write down the word revelation. There is R, there is E, revelation, like that, like this. And this is one, this is two, this is three, this is two, this is four, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. How about leave, the letters leave, L, L, there's L, let's see where's L, L here, so L is four. This one, it's leave, like this. So L, L is here, four. Then E, 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 E is equal to number what? E, there's E here, which is equal to number two. So E is two. Then A, A, the letter A, this one here is equal to five. This one here, A5. V, this R E V. The number here is three. Three. And E, we already did for E here, which is two. So it means that these numbers here, four, two, five, three, two, are what this leave is. So leave here is equal to so leave here is equal to four, two, five, three, two. Is this anywhere here? Is it A? No. Is it B? Yes. The answer to this particular question is B. Which of the following words would come first if they were arranged in alphabetical order? Which of the following words would come first if they were arranged in alphabetical order? There is parable, parasite, paralysis, parade. These three, which one would be first if these words were placed in alphabetical order. So all these letters, all these words, okay, there's parable, there's parable, there's parasite, parasite, there's paralysis, 
paralyze actually it's paralyze and then there is parade so as you can see how they so as you can see how they all begin they all begin with p so at this point everything is okay and then a everything is okay and then r everything is okay and then a a a a everything is okay now the la the letters that follow are what distinguish these particular words there's b there's s there's l and there's d so let me write those there is b which is this one okay there is b which is that one then there is s s then there is l l and then there is d d which one of these which one of these comes first there's b there's s there's c and then there's d it can help and it would help if you wished to write down the letters of the alphabet you could write them down here a b c d and so on so you will then realize when you do that is that the first letter here l the first letter here is going to be b after b the next letter is going to be d so we already know just by this that this one which starts with b here is going to be the first if these were put in alphabetical order parable so the answer then to this particular question is a